Now this final concept is what I like to call the flat tire approach. And I'm gonna take a uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan song, Pride and Joy. <laughs> that as a segue between rhythm and lead. So much of playing in a three-piece band is that dance between rhythm guitar and lead guitar. Um, and this is an excellent jumping off point from one to the other. Uh, and I'm going to use this as that bridge between the two uh, because when we looked at the riff-based songs, when we looked at riffs added to chords, those are all things that are, um, that are found in three-piece bands. But this is something that a lot of students struggle with, the concept of this flat tire. And I want to break this down from the rhythm perspective, and then we will look at this also in the lead perspective in our next uh, section. Uh -huh. So this is nothing more than a muted upstrum and then you're going to play the note on a down strum. Now, when you play it in a mechanical sense, where there's no real feel to it, it sounds very sterile, and it doesn't move you, and it doesn't accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. But those are the mechanics for it. So depending on what level that you're, that you're coming to this course with, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, um, and just your comfortability with rhythm and with your right hand technique. You may have to really break this down and get it on a mechanical level first, uh, or this may be something that comes rather natural. So here it is implemented, okay? In kind of slow motion. the elements that are making this work. It's a combination of muting between my left and right hand. If I was not covering myself with my left hand, it would sound like this. Not good. Okay, so. See? Everything's muted here. My right hand's free to. Everything's muted. My ring finger is pushing down just my sixth string. See how these fingers are incorporated in muting my sixth string? My first finger's pushing down this note, but it's arched. So one thing to think about is playing on your fingertips in a very relaxed state. That way, when I play on my fingertip, Everything's muted. These fingers here are just always ready to cover. My right hand has the freedom to play without having to mute. And watch how I'm kind of flipping my wrist. Once you're able to cover, things with your left hand. So if this is a awkward movement for you, mute everything and just get used to. Here I'm emphasizing the down, up, down, up, down. And this is for like a shuffle. This flat tire or the shuffle feel shows up in a ton of Texas style music ton of Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff. And that's how it's accomplished, that up down, up down. Hence flat tire to do, to do. So you want to get used to this, and if you're not, mute. Then bring it all together. Okay, now I'm going to use that as a launching off point 
to segue from rhythm into lead. But I want to leave you with this concept. The two are constantly dancing together. Lead, rhythm, lead and rhythm. Okay? Uh, that is a critical thing to keep in mind for playing in a power trio. Because when you go from rhythm into playing lead, you don't want the bottom to drop out. When you come from playing a lead back into rhythm, you don't want there to be this dynamic shift that, that steps on, on, on the vocals. Uh, you want to be able to play from your power chords when you're not singing to when you are singing in a more controlled way to get out of your way for vocals. So you're constantly using your toolkit, your paint brushes, um, to, to paint whatever size picture you need and creating holes so you can work with your rhythm section. Okay, so let's move on to lead guitar. <laughs> 